response to yesterday's tragic bombings, Eugene Marathon event organizers were scheduled to meet with the Eugene Police Department today and all other involved parties. KEZI 9 News reporter Nana Wynn is live in the studio with what EPD had to say. Nana. Brian, Eugene police officers say they obviously cannot reveal their plans of protection, but they want the public to know they're working to make sure everyone is safe and feels that way come race day. Whoa, something just blew up. At Confusion and panic filled the air as multiple bombs went off in the middle of the Boston Marathon. And while it happened more than 3,000 miles away, the impact was felt close to home. <laughs> In less than two weeks, the city of Eugene will host its seventh annual marathon. Last year, thousands flooded the university campus and streets. <laughs> but in light of yesterday's tragedy, folks wonder if we're ready for something like this. What this, this incident, this tragedy has done uh, for us as a community and as a police force is to heighten our sense of awareness. So our officers are going to be extra vigilant. If anything like that were to happen here, EPD says it will be all hands on deck. I'm confident that uh, police officers and deputy sheriffs from across the county that are going to come out uh, even uh, all the way up to Portland uh, to help us out with an event like that. And they say the public can help too. And the natural tendency is to move forward, get in, to try to help the injured. Uh, and we saw that there were secondary devices out there. And what we want to do is make sure that people don't fall into that trap. If something, if a device was to detonate, pull back, Think about your own safety first. Officers say using this experience to work together is the best way to get through it all. And we're going to continue to train uh, mentally, physically, be prepared um, so that uh, we can do the best job that we can um, if and when something like that were to happen in, in our community. Now, as of yet, EPD says it doesn't have any reason or intel to indicate that something like this could happen here. But officers are asking the public to help out by just keeping their own eyes and ears open to anything suspicious. Live in the studio, Nanowin KZI 9 News.